Good morning, everyone. We're going to work on 9.2 in your Go Math book. It's going to start on page, well, we're going to start on page 519 and 520, but first I want to review some of the vocabulary words from page 511 that we worked on yesterday. We had long, short, and then longer and shorter. So how I want to do this first is if I draw a line that looks like this, I drew a pretty long line, didn't I? But if I draw a line that looks like this, It's a short line, isn't it? And then with the words longer and shorter, you'll use those words when you're comparing. So if I compare these two lines, or if I see how these lines are alike or different, I would say, well, this line is longer than this line, and this line is shorter than this line. So let's do some comparisons for a second. What is longer? The remote or the flashlight? Yeah, the flashlight is longer. There's more length to it. What about if I said, which one is longer? This notebook or this marker? Which one's longer? Yeah, the notebook's longer. This time, what if I said, which one is shorter? The remote or the marker? Yeah, the marker is shorter. It doesn't have as much length. It is smaller this way. Length is like how long something is. So I want to do, I'm going to do the vocabulary sentences on page 511 as well. It says, a crayon is blank than a marker. Would a crayon be longer or shorter than a marker? It'd be shorter. And then it says, a toothbrush is blank than a paperclip. Would a toothbrush be longer or shorter than a paperclip? Right, it'd be longer. So now I want you to go to page 515. Actually, that was what we did yesterday, was 515. But I want to go over some of these just to review. So we wanted to put our lines in order from longest to shortest. And it told us which one they wanted first. So we have to look at our words on the side of this page when we're ordering them or putting them into an order. So it said shortest. And then the last one said longest, so that would be the longest or the biggest line, but then that middle one didn't say anything. That means we have to put a line that is bigger than the shortest line and smaller than the longest line. So it would look something like this. And then the same thing on the next one, when it asks for longest to shortest, you would start with the biggest line. The last option, the shortest line, would be the small one. And then the one in the middle would have to be between, or bigger than the shortest, and then smaller than the longest. So I want to go to page 519. You guys can pause the video while you get there. I'm still working on getting there myself. And then when you're ready, you can unpause and get back with me. So on page 519, it says indirect measurement. How can you compare lengths of three objects to put them in order? Well, if you know the lengths, you can use the numbers. Or if it tells you what the lengths look like. So it gives us clues. You guys remember what clues are? Clues are like hints to help you solve something. So clue one says, a yellow string is shorter than a blue string. I don't have a yellow marker, so I'm going to use orange. A yellow string is shorter than a blue string. Okay, so we got to keep that in mind. My yellow is going to be shorter than my blue. The blue string is shorter than a red string. Okay, so my blue string is going to be shorter than my red string. And my yellow string is going to be shorter than my blue string. And then it says the yellow string is shorter than the red string. So if I think about this, I'm going to say, okay, my yellow is shorter than my blue. My blue is shorter than my red. And then my yellow is also shorter than my red. So let's think for a minute. Which one would be the longest if 
the yellow is shorter than blue, and the blue and yellow are shorter than red. The red one would be the longest one of it. So I'm going to draw my red line, and I'll show you guys in just one second. So I've got my red line. It's my longest. I used my clues to help me figure that out. But now I need to figure out, okay, how long is my blue and my yellow? Well, the yellow string is shorter than red. I know that. But then it says the yellow string is shorter than the blue string. So if the yellow string is shorter than the blue and the red string, that would mean it is the shortest. So then if the blue string is shorter than the red string, but it's longer than the yellow string, that would be our one in the middle that we don't really know how long for sure, but we just know that it's in between those other two lengths of those lines. Oh, my marker doesn't want to work. Hang on. So we have our yellow line is the shortest because it said the yellow was shorter than the blue and the red. The red, even though it didn't say was longer than, we knew that if everything else was shorter than it, it had to be the longest. And then on the blue one, it said that it was shorter than the red, but we knew the yellow was shorter than the blue, so that meant the blue was longer than yellow and shorter than red. So the clues helped us because when it gave us those hints, we could think about what we know about what those words were telling us, and we know what the words longer and shorter mean, and we could help decide which string was longer than which other string. So let's turn the page. We're now on page 520. It says, use clues, write shorter or longer to complete the sentence then draw to prove your answer. So our first clue, or our first hint says, a green pencil is longer than an orange pencil. Okay, we know that. Green pencil is longer than orange. So we can use that hint and go ahead and draw because on this page it says, or we have the orange pencil. This is how long it is, and it says, the green pencil is longer than the orange. So when we draw our green pencil, we're going to draw it longer than the orange one. So we did, I drew that one. We did the green pencil is longer than the orange pencil. So now it has clue number two. The orange pencil is longer than the brown pencil. Well, if the orange one is longer than brown, that means the brown one is shorter than the orange. So I'm going to draw my brown pencil, and it's going to be shorter than the orange one. And I didn't have a brown marker. I used a black marker. And you guys can use different colored crayons to help you draw these, or if you don't have that, just draw in pencil and just remember to put them in the right place, brown, orange, green. Can we see that? But there's not a glare. So those are the lengths of my pencils because it gave me hints or clues to let me know which one was which length. So let's go down to the next one. 